Mr. Daily Talk Show, episode 389. What's happening, guys? Happy Wednesday. Uh, I've um, been to the mechanic already this morning. Mate, what was discovered, and I didn't say it, I could say that I was saving it for the show, but I didn't because I wasn't. <laughs> but now I'll bring it up because I just remembered a fucking nail or a bolt in your tyre. And well, you knew about this. No, you said to me, so dramatically you said, we've been driving and there's this big noise. Mm. And then you said that there was a fucking nail in your, in your tyre. I was like. Yeah, there's a bolt. How did you, like. A bolt. It doesn't matter what it was. How, how did does you, a bolt. How did you not know to fucking have a check we of your tyres? We looked at the tyres. But did, were you parked? Like how yeah. often did you hear it? Like, I didn't it seems fucking, dramatic. I didn't, it seems I didn't dramatic put to it go. in neutral and then roll alongside <laughs> as I checked it. What did you want me to do? It just seems like it's a, it seems like I can't believe you didn't f- realize that before you took it to the place. Should I have not taken it to the mechanic? Yeah, but I feel like you, and he just calls you and he's like, Matt, there's a fucking nail in your tire. No, like it seems a, like a r- really sort there's of a like, bolt. What is a bolt? A, a bolt is a, a bolt is a metal fucking. Uh, 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 sounds tire. like you don't know like, what a bolt is. Get this bolt and show me how big it is because you're making it sound like it was seven metres long. I'm imagining like a um, – what goes at the end of a screw? I know what a bolt is. What is it? So you got a Why screw do you keep looking which at 3D is sharp because he's our fucking local go-to guy on building shit. But you should know what a bolt had, is. I know what a bolt is. A what bolt is has a nut and you sc- – uh, like, I'm thinking of a nut. So a bolt – That's why I was confused. I thought how did it something like a nut – it's, it had to be sharp, a, and so a bolt is something that needs to be fastened. Yeah, which is why you have a nut, and sometimes you have a washer. So the bolt goes through something, something yeah. and then you put the nut and the washer onto it exactly. to fix it in. Anyway, get this, uh, Stacy June. Mm. When I lived up in Shep, did you live up in Shep? I yeah, I was on radio in Shepparton. Yeah, it actually annoys the fuck out of me when people call me out for, on for really what? good stories. No, like I repeat things. Like I remember everyone used to be like, ah. Oh, like no, I had hang one, on, hang one on. friend My, who was like, oh, were you in radio? Because the joke was I was always talking about radio. Yeah, but the story varies each time. Yeah, no, this is I the mean, story that's the I'm not told. This is the, that's the whole thing. Yeah, I feel yeah, like it, yeah. it annoys the fuck. So I'm picking myself up for criticizing you no, for it's telling only a story. someone wrote in and said. Kroger, I think. Was, was, <laughs> someone Kroger. left a review. Yeah. But it was a very kind review about. Yeah. Loves the show. He doesn't have any other mates. That that talk about Shepard like Shepard. I do. Yeah. I mean, most people are just defaming Shepard. Yeah. <laughs> I've got great memories of it. Like this one, Stacey June came to her rescue. Oh, my tire's flat. Got to take it to the thing. She she, she had, a, she's like, my tire keeps on going down. She, she found a screw in hers, right? Mm. And I, I identified the location. Yeah, this is here. We took it down. Mate, there was another three screws in her other three tires. Sounds like a setup. Someone's. I said, what have you done, Stace? Yeah. She said, oh, these. So where she lived, she lived with Tim, mm-hmm. Punchy, my mate. Uh, they lived in an apartment together, but the apartment was within a uh, serviced apartment block. Mm-hmm. And so they had these ones out the back. And so you could hire the other ones. It's where I stayed when I first got to Shep. And where where I was t- the junkies. I told the story about the ice addicts that had kids and it was fucked. Anyway. But love Shepparton. She said to me, oh, this guy was getting angry last night about me parking in the spot because. So if, she knows who it was. Then. In fairness, it was like you know she lived there as a resident, but there's all these vacant spots, mm. and so she had parked in this one because she's always there, and obviously it was allocated to these people. And so anyway, what we'd worked out was they'd put t- they'd put screws underneath each tire, and she's driven back and forward to go out, and they'd popped. Or they've gone into the tires. The thing about doing that, right, is that they leak, and it's not like this fucking automatic and gone. It's a slow, slow, slow burn. Slow. So leak. maybe it could. I could have upset someone that we don't know about. Nah, nah it just happens a lot. There's mm. like a bunch of gronks that just chuck nails and stuff. Like we, we were very cautious, three D deal. And I even when we were put get doing the woodwork downstairs, you don't want to put shit out into the street because sometimes if there's nails, mm. gronks going past. Um. Uh. Side note. One of our hats, the Daily Talk Show, pieces of merch, is currently in Malta. <laughs> just partying. Sean Mellick. I just saw a photo. Oh, really? Uh, yesterday of, of of Sean at dinner uh, wearing one of the Daily Talk Show hats. Didn't even tag us in, bro. 
What the fuck? Really? I, I mean, mean, that's got cut through. I think that when people are talking about you and not tagging yeah, I, is I, when it's pure. But if you are watching or listening, <laughs> tag us up, put us, do an Instagram story, yeah. extra points if you do a boomerang. Yeah. If we get anyone do, doing a boomerang of them listening to the show with a head move, yeah. I'm going to send them. Oh, no, don't break a promise, mate. Because we haven't sent out a bunch of stickers. So just why haven't we sent out the stickers yet, Mr. Cool. 07? Mate, the we've kids, been so busy. We've been so fucking busy. Don't speak for ever, yourself. Don't <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> Quick I had question. a two hour lunch break today. <laughs> you were outrageous. No, no, no. I mean I wasn't it's in the not office. Even lunchtime, yeah. I wasn't in the office on Monday. Mm-hmm. Nor was Mr. 97. So we can't account for the work that you did. Just 3D deal. How good was our Monday? It was very productive. Yeah. Very productive. I, I and m- many times I said, How good is this? <laughs> Didn't I? Yeah, you it was, get, it was great. We, we get an office and you've worked from home more than not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like it's I, a bizarre thing. No, I, I, what we do, you need to sort of get into a, a solid headspace mm-hmm. to just smash out some really complicated stuff that requires a lot of attention. I like single focus yeah. stuff, and so it's it's been good. We've been um, yesterday we launched uh, the work we've done with Milkshake, which yeah. is Envato's new um mobile app mm, mm. and uh, the shameless girls michelle and zara did uh we did videos with them and so it was great i could focus on editing like when i'm singularly focused on like one thing it's epic mm, mm. what i don't like is when it's like seven things all need to be delivered mm, at the same mm. time i mean open plan workspaces it, w- offices and shit it, it there is something to be said for your own office mm. it's a luxury these days because all the hipsters want open plan. But isn't it is it going back the other way? Yeah, well, no, they don't want open plan. Hipsters hate open plan. Is yeah, that what you yeah, just said? Yeah. Well, I think some of the hip places so the that hip you can places, work have individual like a big open plan. Well, work, so open, that was the open plan. Like there was a whole movement and then they worked out, oh, maybe it's not as good as so the the most passive aggressive thing you could do if you worked at an open plan tech company was just uh, bombarding Slack channels. Uh, with articles about how uh, <laughs> workplaces don't work effectively in open yeah. plan offices. Yeah. And you'd see, you know, the introverted <laughs> developer who who won't even say hello or make eye contact. Yeah. Uh, acting like an absolute boss on Slack. It's fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Keyboard warriors. I mean, at workplaces, you, you guys haven't, wor- I mean, you worked at the equivalent of Bunnings or something. Yeah, I, uh, I, worked re- I, worked re- I worked retail. Deal. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. So there is... In bigger workplaces, you can go the whole entire time without even fucking knowing or speaking to one person. You know they're there, you just don't speak to them. I mean, it's not... I, it's the dream. Isn't it? <laughs> I tried to say hello to a bunch of people. Amy, she got a, a message from a guy that worked at her old work. Really? And she no longer worked there. A message as but they'd in never a text. spoken. They'd never spoken. No, no, nah, not a cheeky text. It was a LinkedIn message. Okay. Saying what? Oh, bad mouthing. But what? It, what do you mean? <laughs> but well, no, what point, does that mean? Uh, my point. No, no, no. It's what does not that about mean? the specifics of what they said. It's got nothing to do with the story. The the story really has everything bit, to do yeah. with not mm. speaking to someone in your workplace when mm. you work there, but then connecting after the fact. So yeah, it's like I mean, this, that's it's, like people within school and all that sort of thing. It's like Roo Roo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. become a friend of the show. Yeah. Don't really remember that much mm. of our interactions. Um, but obviously we've um, since uh, reconnected. Mm-mm. Um, from our anniversary, actually, I'm just going to say, Mr. 97, that clip you put out on Monday, <laughs> mm-hmm. defamatory. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> How I thought, did you decide? Thought, so you put out a, <laughs> he put out the video because Bree said, oh, she did say, oh, the problem is that all you think about is just them being a bit dirty okay, now. Okay, like that's okay. the problem. <laughs> He, he you know just, what I mean? He took a, a little slice of what was a big conversation. To be fair, and that uh, is the whole context. Like I don't think Brie, because you you straight away went into a PR meltdown uh, when branding expert Belinda <laughs> did just sort of a um, sort of unsure face. Well, P- insta- when, he says, a, um, when he says PR meltdown, he was not next to me. I just responded to her. Yeah, what did you was, I said, there were, there's, hang on. I said, there's more context to that. <laughs> what was Just the more FYI. context though? He took a little part of when we were referring to my anniversary, anniversary weekend, weekend away. Yeah. 
as a <laughs> fuck face, Flinders fuck face. Which Josh just he said, I thought it was very funny mm-hmm. that he he called. Do you think it, it was less funny in the snippet? Uh, too try hard. No, I just think that it made it look out. Like a try it hard. made it out potentially a bit of boys club, which you know I'm not worried about having boys club because vibes. We've got the best fucking boys club in the business. <laughs> woof woof. No, no but can we get you, it I mean, woof woof. You're you're the boys club filter over here, baby boy. Yeah. So I, I well, I said I banned any sort of leathers. Although, although I guess we got the couch, but <laughs> but that was we we did a whiteboard session of uh, what we want the office to be, and yeah, we didn't want yeah, it to yeah, have yeah. sort of cigars and uh, which we don't smoke, so there's no cigars. My mm-hmm. point was everything everything you were talking about actually is not existing because none of us even do any of that shit. You don't but, have to smoke to uh, get into cigars. But the weekend fuck fest, I will have you know, mm. there was only we had sex once. So well, that's, so that's quite a fest. I'm just still. <laughs> it's maybe a fest for a, a married couple with a yeah, two and sure. a half year old that demands a lot of time, that just cruises in when when you're doing it. Anyway, the point being, <laughs> yeah, what is the point? <laughs> the point being is you you select. I thought we were a tight Gronk squad. Actually, it's a Gronk move from someone within the Gronk squad. So I can't really have a go at it. What, but you in, really in just defense. What did you think that was the best bit? <laughs> yeah, it's <was> pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like, ah. Oh, you, la- you were laughing, mate. You loved it. Yeah. Didn't he come up with the hashtag? <laughs> well, that was FFF? The thing. Yeah, that was what I realized. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was like, oh, man, yeah, I don't know if nah, I would have put it gronk- up. And then I realized that I helped him. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolute gronk move. There is something. Um, so, Amy Amy got a, a fine the other week. Mm. And the only reason I know is because she told me She's about it. She's in jail now. <laughs> no, she told me about it. Uh, but she told me about it two weeks after she got it. What fine? What sort of- it was a parking fine. So, okay. pr- you know, Melbourne now, so busy. M- like most places, it's a luxury if you have a car spot to drive to work. Mm. We've got three stories here and we got a car spot. It's the most car- acceptable fine that if she got a fine for spitting on someone. I know, I know that. I know that. I, know that. I mean, I th- the thing is, she, fe- she, I think she was apprehensive to tell me based on how I'd react. How much was it? I was like 80 bucks, but mm-hmm. mate, you you don't look at a fine like, ah, how much was it? Cheap. Oh, that's fucking, that's a good fine. You it's can. still There's losing There are money. sometimes I, uh, yeah. cheap fines. There are fines Gla- where it's like, you know what? Glass half full, glass half empty. Whatever you way you're looking at it. I got a $550 fine for sitting in traffic and I had my phone in my hand. It's fucked. That's the worst fine you to can get. To be clear, it's the you most didn't expensive. get the fine for sitting in traffic. I like that you lead yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting in traffic yeah, in my I car. Ma- no, no, no. I know, I know. This is, ha- but I want to make it known that I don't fucking drive while holding my phone. I'm mm-hmm. texting and shit. It was bumper to bumper, parked traffic, and I was, and I was on my phone. It's so annoying because I'm a dickhead because I could have just had it plugged into the fucking car play. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I can't. So she, Amy knows that I, I've got no leg to stand on because I got a five hundred and fifty dollar fine, mm-hmm. four demerit points. She got an eighty dollar fine, but she did keep it from me for a. Short short time, and I understand because I can be just really disappointed. You know, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not, not angry. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that that mm-hmm. vibe, that yeah. vibe. It's it was like similar. when you left the garage door open on Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's also similar vibes to <laughs> your book, mate. So yeah, sure. We all disappointed. I mean, that's just actual disappointment, to be honest. <laughs> anyway. I, but I thought when, when Amy hurt and I people, was hurt people, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> when Amy and I were sitting at dinner at the FFF, Flinders, you do the rest. Um, I I couldn't help like I I was over I was I was eaves, eaves, eavesdropping. I was listening to the couple next to us. Mm-hmm. I heard a few things. I heard that they were. One, the girl said, oh, "This is what this is what a baby does to you." She, referring to how tired she was at seven thirty p.m. That was our booking yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Booked in. Oh, I booked in at six thirty, so it would have been seven p.m. But then I ever heard them talk about credit cards. I heard they were talking about finances. Oh, they were it doing was, a date night. It was essentially like I, I. The dude was like barefoot. You know. Was he saying really? He did, I didn't hear him say barefoot. I heard him say ING, you know, m- moving funds around. Like yeah. it was, there was a hundred percent barefoot, right? Uh-huh. And so, it, essentially, date night, but yeah. it was a weekend away. It seemed for mm-hmm. them, they were married, but then they got into the conversation of credit card, mm-hmm. and she said something like, "Oh, I've got you know the the credit card with the four thousand dollar limit or something." Mm. And he was like, "What?" He didn't know she had a credit card. It's not ideal, is it? So he's she's been keeping. I mean, it seemed like it didn't blow up, but he was like, "What? What's your limit?" 
And he was asking like basic questions about a fucking credit card that she had that she'd obviously kept from him. I don't know if it was like, I mean, it wouldn't have come out there if it was really a secret, but it was like, I've got a credit card that I'm using. I mean, keeping shit from partners, it's... It's that I, I I would be so fucking furious if I found yeah. out Amy had a side side credit card. Yeah, she more infu- more furious if, if she had a side bloke. <laughs> that would make me more but angry. The but the um, <laughs> no, I think it's it's probably it's not a good idea mm. because then from a from a financial point of view as a couple, you don't know where you stand. Mm. It did seem like they were they you? they weren't well. They had a baby. But it's, it's pretty serious. It's, at that point. I mean, yeah, very serious. But I, I think it seemed like they hadn't meshed their finances together, mm. which is a. I mean, when did you mesh your finances together? Um, I was after a Europe trip, a four year, three and a half, four years ago. Yeah, so that's, that's a good ten, yeah. year, almost ten years without. Mm. Yeah, we used to like share it all. I remember I was like, I was like a little bit more okay with credit card debt mm. in regards, like we'd go on a overseas trip. And Bree's like freaking out. I'm like, think about it. It's like a month of our pay. Like, are we really not going to do the thing because we don't have this money? And then I was like, let's just put it all together and then we worry about it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's how it started. (laughs) And so now I'm bankrupt and uh, she's going down with me. But I think it's a good, uh, one thing we did on the weekend was we um, went through my subscriptions. Oh my <laughs> god! Which I was slightly hyperbolic. I said I had f- four hundred and something dollars that I saved in a night. It was it was actually two hundred and eighty, but Bree had said since I'd started slowly um, removing things, it was over five hundred dollars since November. I started getting rid of all my subscriptions. So five hundred a month. Five hundred a month. So yeah. just to be clear, I, I was pushing for a video idea, and three D deal was across this. Picture it. Sticky notes, wall, Josh writing out every one of his subscriptions because he's a subscription fiend. Up on the wall, you see this just plethora of Mm -hmm. yellow sticky notes with black marker and it's, you know, Netflix, Stan. I should find the – I've got a spreadsheet where we went through – and like, oh, I bore you. But, but I, I get it. I, as you said that, when you said the dollar amount, mm. I thought, okay, there could be some embarrassment tied up in that. Maybe mm. that's why you push back on my idea. Because it's not a great thing. That's, I mean, just for you. I, it it's more that I didn't actually, because I think part of it was, it was a, <laughs> like half of that was full stack films subscriptions, which were essentially like... This is the problem with people who have their own businesses, mm-hmm. right? Where they are meshing meshing yeah. business with personal... Well, so part of it was it's like, okay, I've got uh, Full Stack Films G, G Suite and then I realised oh, I was pl- paying for um, Google Storage <laughs> or something. It was like 15 a month and I'm like, oh, I don't need to actually pay that. Yeah, And yeah. so it was just good. I sat down, I was like, I pl- turned it into a game. Like I felt like when I turned it into a game, I'm like... How many things can I get rid of? Well, and now I've probably gone too far because now I've gotten rid of Spotify Premium. Yeah, I got rid of YouTube Premium, and we know how angry I get when we get one pre-roll. <laughs> I, I actually don't think it's a bad idea to strip it back and start again. Yeah, you're not getting thinking. rid of your phone. You're not getting rid of mm. your, your your car <laughs> repayments and shit. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> strip back and add what you need. It's mm. like. Uh, pull everything out of your cupboard and put back only what you actually wear. Mm. It's a lot less. It's yeah, it's a lot less than what was in there before. Well, I was thinking about the fridge at home. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you said our fridge here. Room. Yeah, uh, your no, fridge no. at home. Yeah, the fridge at Couldn't home. Couldn't imagine it gets much use other than soda, water, Coke Zero, and some um, yogurt. Last, Labna. So, nah, <laughs> oh, Labna, maybe we some just, hummus. Yeah, uh, bacon. But I think the problem with bacon is that we um we've been started. I think you suggested buying it from the, gro- like the grocery butcher rather than just in the plastic. Well, if you buy it and you don't use it for a week, it's going to go off. If you bought it from the butcher section, at the well, at that's Safeway. the problem that we have. Woolworths, yeah, you, because the butcher I mean, doesn't yeah. tell you how long you've got. <laughs> There's a piece of work in actually cooking the food you buy, though, which is mm-hmm. yeah, no, a piece I of work that, that needs to be that. done. But your subscription, what was, what was the one? That you just that you laughed at. Just, oh I don't. Uh, no, Anything? Nothing was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, the whole thing. <laughs> oh no! Probably the most annoying one is Pro Tools. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I set that up like 
12, oh, in September last year, I'm like, I'm going to learn Pro Tools. Yeah, yeah. And so I put that on my personal one, but it comes out every month. Oh, the gym's annoying. <laughs> but the gym, I'm still paying for the gym. But I was like, you know what? I should start using, having the subscription. I'm like, maybe I just try and use it. What's yeah, yeah. What's the one that you used the least? <laughs> That's a good and the most Aside expensive the, the one. Yeah, most New expensive York, and least used. Uh, least used would be New York Times. <laughs> <laughs> why would you? Why would you, through through Apple News? No, just through New York Times directly because I thought. How that, do they deliver your news? Well, because I just didn't want to have to worry about paywalls, but I never go on New York Times website. <laughs> but it was sort of at a time where I was like, I want to be the guy. That just fucking pulls up New York Times and just reading big <laughs> articles about North Korea. And so that's never really happened. And the thing was that they'd already offered me a, a discount. So I was only paying $4 a month. So that was quite inexpensive. But um, oh, just annoying things like um, Frame.io, like yeah. which, which we use for business well, or whatever. We pay for that now. We've got a big media company one, but the full stack one. And I'm like, actually don't need any of this stuff now. I mean, I know the most expensive one that was used the least. Which one? Oops. Masterclass. <laughs> oh, master. Yeah. That thing was about 400 bucks a year. No, That's 270. Weird. We actually have until July, I think it was July 19. Yeah. But so if we want to. You looked over to Mr. 97. Well, because I think he would keep across when he's actually when more your across. your yeah. spot expired. No, Just mate. about. <laughs> Mr. 97 will, I mean, he might not, but it will look like it's coming from California. He'll download the Masterclass videos which are another way on you know on torrent websites which is no good but that's a re- that's a reality you're paying for something you never used there's plenty of yeah, yeah, yeah. using it for free but i'll definitely um a good thing no, but it's it's good i sort of wipe the slate clean where it's like i haven't really been super focused like i said at the start of the year i want to save x amount of money mm. and then we ended up lowballing how much we paid ourselves so we could sort of keep it all going well Breeze had pay rises and shit like that. So we're at a point where it's like, okay, I can actually, mm. we can do a decent job of saving. Mm. So we might as well. And so I guess part well, of the, it's the, coming the, up with goals. The fastest way to make money is to look at where you can save, mm. right? It is. It's as much as we joke about the buckets. <laughs> yeah. The buckets are very effective. Yeah, the buckets are effective. But it's about, the, it's the quickest way. It's, it's like, I mean, he, the Barefoot's book is like, if you can't have, if you can't increase your salary, I don't know if it's like this, but mm. if you can't increase your salary, you, you don't know how to make money. Mm. If you can save any money anywhere, that's earning money essentially. Well, I think you can get obsessed with it. Like I, um, that's not saying cut a, cut your coffee out. Well, I guess part of it is that there's something a bit povo that some people are like with money that I find annoying. Like I've always found like thinking about these things too much. Mm. like where it's driving all of your decisions. So I was like, I can't do this on the weekend. Whereas it felt like all the things that I've gotten rid of actually will have zero impact on my life, mm. which is which is a good thing. <laughs> and so part of it too is now I want to create friction on like, okay, when do I start a subscription? And what's what have you got to? What is the the Josh checklist before you take your 15 minutes to put in your credit card information, speak to the person there and... I mean, I'm talking about the gym membership. That was I'm a process, wasn't it? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I still got you. I'm trying to actually think. Like is there – because I think what you're saying is the reason – you build a pattern I around conven- – I guess part of it is most of the things I'm paying for is around convenience. Yeah. Or a trigger point. Like I would have hit the New York Times paywall once and I was like, okay, well, I'm paying to get in. Mm. And then it just sort of keeps going. It is the reason these businesses make money. Well, the like thing is that they'd actually the- gone through, they were like um, ten, uh, 10 bucks a month and then they reduced it to four bucks a month. And they're like, oh, we can offer you four bucks a month again for 12 months. Mm. Anyway, it is good. Like it, we could, um, there's a, I reckon we could do a whole series on money stuff and get yeah. financial experts and shit in specifically yeah. around business and finance. Like I think that's super interesting. I've got to go. Right. Um, but it's the uh, it's a daily talk show. The new website is live. Clap it in. Shit, yeah. Uh, well done, guys. A big shout out to uh, 3D Dill and uh, Mr. 97 who have been working very hard mm. on getting all the data in, doing blog posts, uh, all of that stuff, even getting the server ready. So it looks amazing. And yeah. also uh, Gronk Blage at Digital Republic 
who has been working tirelessly to get mm. the content management system working so it's nice and easy and yeah. all that sort of stuff. It's so, epic. Yeah, so what check it out, thedailytalkshow.com and uh, leave an Apple Podcast review as well if you are listening on Apple Podcasts. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, take a screen grab or if you do a boomerang of you listening to the podcast – we will send nothing at this point. <laughs> well, because <laughs> we've just been a bit busy with the website and stuff. Yeah. But we'll get there and you will get something at some point. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's a promise for you. It's the Daily Talk Show. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. See you, guys.